All right, here we are for an inspection in Leesburg. A pump out and inspection for a two, two tank conventional septic tank system. And this is what we have. Here's your home. And here are our tanks. 1,000 gallon tank and another 1,000 gallon tank. We went ahead and exposed the inlet to this tank to double check and make sure it's not backed up, that it's actually functioning. And as you can tell, we're running water inside because we're clearing a clog on the inside and it's running just fine. This tank appears to be in good shape, very good conditions. Concrete is strong. The top of the tank, make sure you pay attention to the, to the, to the thickness of that concrete. This tank is not that new but it's newer than the one over there. And I'll explain. It used to have a concrete inlet and you can see it on the bottom, it's down there. And then whoever came in here and did a repair, repaired that install a PVC with, yep, PVC with a drop down PVC as well. So this tank continues to approximately here where there's gonna be an outlet and then there's an empty space and then the tank picks up, another tank picks back up here where we expose the outlet. Now this tank is in whole different conditions. As you can see, that's the outlet. Doesn't have a filter. It was repaired. I don't know where the con where the cast iron one, the old one is. And when they ran it through the old deteriorated top, they sealed it up with what appears to be some sort of a caulking of some sort instead of properly sealing it with concrete. The concrete on the walls is severely deteriorated from the seam coming up. And the concrete at the top of the tank is also very weak. You can tell in the thickness of that tank how bad it is. The bottom of this tank is filled with gravel and silt, which is pretty much just deteriorated concrete that flakes off and goes straight to the bottom. There's the lid. The lid is much, much thicker. That might have been a replacement lid of some sort, but the top is definitely not doing so well. So with that being said, I'm not sure if these tanks were installed at different eras or if they were installed at the same time. This one is being used as pre-treatment one, which takes on most of the waste, which is fog, fat soils, and greases, as well as the sludge, which falls to the bottom. And then the effluent with some waste makes it through and comes in here and goes through another post pre-treatment. And then from here, a much cleaner water than what was in here, exits the tank and then goes to a distribution box somewhere, which then from the distribution box, it spreads out to the field. There could be one, there could be two D boxes. We don't really know, but this right here appears to be the conventional gravity field. So with that being said, there's some recommendations made by the health department to bring this system up to code. And what you have is that all septic tanks are supposed to be access ready for inspection, repair, and service. This tank is buried on both sides. So at the bare minimum, it would be good to have riser access points in order to be able to service these tanks every three to five years. There's also a good maintenance item called a filter, which should be installed on the outlet baffle on this tank right here. And that filter needs to be serviced by you or I or any professional to be pulled out of the tank and washed one time per year. And that is the ultimate protection required to go ahead and protect this field from getting saturated with suspended solids, sludge, anything that exits this tank that's not pure and pure, uh, pure and treated effluent fluid okay so with that being said that's what we need riser no less than two risers one on the inlet and one on the outlet so inlet on pre-treatment one outlet on pre-treatment two if money was never an issue it would be best to have four risers riser on the inlet and outlet of pre-treatment one inlet and outlet of pre-treatment two and that allows for me or any professional to come in here and service this tank properly where we get to clean the entire bottom of that tank pick up all of that sludge make sure everything is clean before we're done and leaving for the next service which is in the next three to five years so that's gonna be my recommendations that aside we're good to go my name is ricky salinas i am with freedom plumbers the phone number is 703-895 4109. Email is ricky at freedomplumbers.com and my website is freedomplumbers.com. That's what we got.